Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and uh, in this Vue.js video tutorial, we will learn about two-way binding. So these are the points for this video. First of all, we will learn theoretically what is two-way binding, and after that, we will learn what are the issues without two-way binding, how we can apply two-way binding, and interview questions also. So let's uh, discuss about what questions can be asked on two-way binding. First thing is view uh, in Vue.js or AngularJS two-way binding is really important because it can save your time and it can uh, save your code base also, right? Even uh, other frameworks and libraries also provide provide the two-way binding, but Angular and Vue are the most popular, right? So first question is what is two-way binding? Two-way binding simply means bind a property from two side, right? So what are the two side? one side is view and second side is model i want to show you in a code base so this is our view part and you can say that this is our model part so binding a property from both side from uh, view and from the model side and uh, whenever we will update this property from template or view side then it will reflect immediately inside our model part and whenever we will update our uh, property from model then it will reflect immediately inside our template or view part right that we called two-way binding so i want to show you an example so let's say we have an input box with a type let's say text and i am closing it now i have a property let me define a property here return let's say my property name is count or whatever you want to take let's say take is a data property and the initial value is uh, you can say that uh, zero for a moment right and uh, let's print this uh, property inside a h2 tag and use interpolation to print it like data right now you can see that this is great so now what i want i want that if anything i will just type inside my text box it should be reflect here so for that in a ordinary way what can i do first of all i will just get the value from this text box and for after that we will uh, update this data value inside a function so i need to get the value then define it to function then as, uh, need to assign this value inside data property so this is a long way so uh, what we can do here we can make it a two-way data binding for that let's put here uh, v model and put your property name which is data now whenever i will update this text box value it will be updated inside my data property right and it will reflect here or whenever i will update anything uh, this property anywhere inside my model then it will be reflect here also so let's say i am putting my initial value is like 100 then you will find the both place have the 100 value right that means whenever whenever i will update value in a model it will automatically reflected in the view one side binding is done and let's check out the second one binding so whenever i will put here some values like 1000 or something anything like uh, anil siddhu and anything then this value is reflecting here that means uh, data value is updated immediately inside view and printed here right so we can say that this is working in a two-way binding whenever we will update this uh, data property value in the model it will reflecting in the view and whenever we will update this value inside uh, view it will reflecting inside the model so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video